Summer is just over three weeks away, but if you're planning some indoor tanning this weekend, there are big changes coming. The FDA will now require tanning beds and sun lamps to have labels warning anyone under the age of 18 not to use them. And for the first time, other warnings will point out the risk of skin cancer. Dr. Elizabeth Hale is an associate professor in dermatology at NYU's Langone Medical Center that's right here in New York. Good, good to see you again, Dr. Good to Hale. see you. Why is it important to put the warning label for people under the age of 18? It's so important because melanoma, which is the most serious type of skin cancer, is largely preventable by staying safe in the sun and by avoiding indoor tanning beds. Mm -hmm. We know that according to the Skin Cancer Foundation, exposure to tanning beds before age 35 increases your chance for melanoma by 75%. So it's really one of the most preventable types of skin cancer. And when you look at the peaks of melanoma incidence, again, the most mm. deadly type of skin cancer, there's a peak in young women, and we know that is directly correlated to exposure to tanning beds and to people who get these bursts mm. of intense sun exposure. Uh, you don't want people to get much sun, period, do you? Exactly. So we know that about 90% of skin cancers are associated with sun exposure, as are about 90% of the signs of premature aging, so wrinkles and sunspots. What people don't realize, though, is that the people that get basal cell cancer and squamous cell cancer tend to have more chronic sun exposure. Mm -hmm. We see them in older individuals, but it's the people who are getting melanoma that get these intense bursts mm -hmm. of sun exposure, like mm -hmm. those in indoor tanning salons. We've talked about this before. How frequently should you be checked by a dermatologist like yourself? So everybody should get checked at least once a year, whether or not you have specific risk factors. But if you have a personal or family history of skin cancer, and if you frequent indoor tanning salons, and hopefully now with these new regulations, mm -hmm. that'll be less and less common. Mm -hmm. But people who indoor tan should get checked at least twice a year. Because when skin cancer is detected early, it's often curable. Mm -hmm. Are tanning beds worse than being yeah. out in the sun? Yes, so again, according to the Skin Cancer Foundation, people who frequent tanning beds can get up to 12 times the exposure that people that get regular sun exposure get. So those high pressure sun lamps are so powerful and so dangerous. Interestingly, a lot of these young women that are dying from skin mm -hmm. cancer are getting them in areas that are usually covered, and then they go into the tanning beds and they take their clothes off and they get intense, intense exposure that's very dangerous. But what are pale people supposed to do who say, look, I want some color? You know, they know all the warnings, but they're doing it anyway. Right, exactly. People know the warnings and they continue to tan. So we're trying to tell people to go with their own glow. Pale is beautiful. Yeah. Oh, if they exactly. want to tan, a spray tan or a sunless tan is a safer option. Dr. Elizabeth Hill, thank you. Thank you.